Alright, I wanted to do a video on police option 36. Um, this one in particular is the XE. Um, I thought it was worthwhile capturing all this, but during the build process I did take some snippets of videos of some of the unique bits that relate to the police car. Um, so I'll insert those as I get around to that section of the video. Um, so I just the specifications on, on this car. Um, so genuine X option 36 is running 3514. All that information which I already mentioned on the first video, but I just wanted to show you some of the specific stuff that relates to the option 36. Um, so on the uh, breakdown of information. When you get the letter from Ford, you can request these letters, they're free. Um, it just goes through what the options are. So model, original, it was 4.1 of course. Um, ice blue and yada yada, all the bits and pieces. So they list what options are here, but under police option 36, they don't actually list what's specific inside that option 36. But I'll run you through what's actually included in that. So this car, again, they don't list the dealer and they come with a unique paint code. Um, so that's because it's police spec, I suppose. Um, there are other, other, mo other models do get a unique paint code and the dealer's not listed for whatever reason. But I'm led to believe this is a, a, a Queensland police car. So then you go down through the numbers. Um, so this is one of 10, so it's a, it's a rare car. Um, and the paint and trim very rare as well um, so just to have the paint and trim combo is pretty cool um, very unique so um, yeah I'll run you through what it is so as I said I did this one up as a highway patrol car um, I've done it specifically for that purpose as a tribute um, and as per my other video it's fully fully restored um, so yeah so anyway what makes a police car option 36 i'll just show you the wiring room section of the video i'll just insert that so you've got um retractable seat belts which is another thing that um was not on the options list so that's that's cool so they've got them as as a as an added um, so which is cool um, and uh, in this case you've got the left and right side mirrors as well so you've got left and right and the sun visor as well all these things were not on the options list but they are now on there so yeah passenger side mirror I was just doing some work on the old um, ex-cop car and just finding out some pretty cool stuff that um, sort of obviously added as part of that option 36 for police pack. Uh, when you have a look in your center con well, sorry, center console sort of part dash, um, you'll see these thumping big wires, massive, massive wires. So these are like probably 30 amp cable, I'd say. So you got um, three of these and they link into the engine bay by a very unique um, um, firewall entrance. So I haven't seen on any other cars. So these are, ob these are obviously, um, obviously power to your lights, radios and all that. And these are obviously your um, power going up to either relays or front lights or something. Um, but these are heavy duty cables. Um, and they are definitely factory uh, when you have a look you follow them down under here and you can sort of see these here that's where they end up going see those there so that's all factory stuff big big heavy duty cables and then they shoot off out to the firewall into a unique um, unique connection point so on the firewall that's where they exit 
So you won't find that on other XEs other than the old police packs. So you'll see there's a very unique plug. Um, I've lost my finger. There it is. Very unique firewall entrance plug. Right up the back there, right tucked away. So, yeah. Anyway, it's just something for people to be aware of. If you've got that unique, she might be an old ex-cop car. Um, so they'll confirm this is obviously an ex, this is an ex-cop car, I know that for sure. It's got the option 36 and there's been a numerous little bits and pieces I've found. Um, so, you know, including the underfloor bash plates and all that sort of stuff. So they're quite a unique piece of kit as well. Um, so this one did have the really raised heavy duty suspension, but I've changed it. So they're the underfloor back bash plates as well. Um, so yeah, anyway, so she's, she's cool. So I got the hood lining off, um, and that's where the other set of cables go that um, go underneath all the police option gear. So these are big heavy duty cables. These are not small cables. Have a look at them, they're thick. And they're the same ones that are uh, on that wiring loom down there. One set goes in the engine, one set goes to the um, center console. Well, obviously jams it through the hole. There's a little patch right there. It's been patched. Um, so yeah, so that's where the old sirens and stuff used to run. So obviously the cables would come out through the old cop cars. Um, through there, wiring out, and then up into the um, up into the uh, roof section up there, which is you know, which is cool, which is good stuff. Um, so yeah, it's a, another nice little interesting thing to see with these cars. So with the option 36, you get your sports instrument cluster. This is the, the tribute, meaning tribute for the Highway Patrol spec. Um, I've done the radios, that's my own design, but they look cool, I like it like that. Um, this seat is a centerfold seat, um, bench on the bottom with bucket on the rear, bucket seats each side, so again that's that's an option. Um, I'm running the Fairmont steering wheel, I don't need to do that, but it's just because it's, I like the shape and it's a lot bit easier to hang on to. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, so she got the sun visor, which, which isn't on the option list, but it, we've got one. So, as I said, running the 351 in this instance, um, and uh, obviously with all the applicable 351 upgrade gear with the heavy duty cooling, a different overflow bottle, I'll put air conditioning on this one, but under the option 36, it was an option. Uh, for some police cars, got aircon, some didn't, all depending on where you were. Um, so, they run an oil cooler. A transmission oil cooler some of the other model of police cars which were used for um, on highways um, many escort vehicles that they used to escort big heavy loads um, they often got additional cooling additional oil coolers engine and transmission um, so yeah so this one's got power steering, even though it's not listed on the option list. So again, I'm assuming the police car's got the power steering. So because it's got three a V8, it's got the um, bigger diff, um, being, being an XE. So it's got the 351 diff, 28 spine, um, 277 rear. Um, I'm led to believe the original highway patrol car's got a 2.53 um, diff gear rear. They're quite difficult to come by, of course, because they're very rare. Um, yeah, so they also got the extended range fuel tank, which is actually listed here, and that front center fold seat, which I mentioned. Um, 
So yeah, so with that you've got your bash plates as well, the underfloor bash plates. Um, you've got your Fairmont gear headlights being a highway patrol. Uh, you've got your lip spoiler and your spotties of course. Um, and that was all part of making this a tribute to the highway patrol cars. Um, I've shown you before but the bash plates under there, they're the big, big black metal plates that go all the way through to the transmission. So yeah, um, yeah, which is which is cool. I, I, I like the I like the idea of the police kit information. So you know, if you do have more information on on what those um what's included in a police kit that I haven't mentioned, yeah, certainly do it. Um, so again this is set up as a tribute highway patrol so it's got the lowered heavy duty suspension but some police cars got the higher raised heavy duty suspension um, and the map light of course so again all, all the police cars got the map light um, so it's basically the Fairmont gear and Fairlane map light up there you see and it's got the own individual switches you can turn on and off your own individual switches um, yeah yeah so that's just another another little option that's part of the police kit um, so obviously they removed a lot of this stuff like the calibrated speedo and the radar gear and the lights and siren and all that they were all removed before selling um, yeah so yeah that's pretty well what what i know of the police kit cars um, but it's been a great build this it's been I've had a lot of fun and it's come up as a, a bloody good looking car and it's, it's had a big long highway run now um, so it's 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 all good um, I've got the 15 inch snowflakes on there but um, that's okay that's all it's just a bit more comfort that's all so yeah certainly if you do know more more information on the police specs um, or what else was, was included in the option 36 yeah let me know uh, it'd be nice to capture all this information. Okay, thanking you.